Never underestimate the heart of a champion, even if it's a machine. The computer program AlphaGo made headlines one last time before hitting the rocking chair, beating Chinese master Ke Jie in a three-match series sweep. AI defeated the best human players in complex games like poker. The entire process, right, of diagnosis can easily take half an hour to close to an hour to analyze thousands of images just from one patient scan alone. But the whole process can be automated all within a few seconds by artificial intelligence. So that's the power of AI today. Our fascination for AI has been there for a very long time. Be it the battle for survival between the nearly extinct human race and Skynet. In the 1984 sci-fi thriller Terminator, or the 2013 American science fiction romantic drama Her, which portrays a man who develops a relationship with Samantha, an artificially intelligent virtual assistant. While we are nowhere near to the level of intelligence portrayed by machines in these movies, but yes, AI is transforming and becoming more intelligent every second. Will artificial intelligence surpass human intelligence? The Turing test developed by Alan Turing in 1950 is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from that of a human. Turing proposed that a human evaluator would judge natural language conversations between a human and a machine designed to generate human-like responses. The evaluator would be aware that one of the two partners in conversation is a machine and all participants would be separated by one another. The University of Reading says the computer program is called Eugene Guzman has passed the iconic Turing test. Well. It's fairly sophisticated. It did get one third of the judges to actually think it was a Ukrainian boy and not a computer, and that's a significant accomplishment. Um, but it did it not through real intelligence, not through what Alan Turing thought of when he designed the test, but as you demonstrated through humor, through misdirection, through confusion. It mimicked the way a 13 year old boy would mock somebody asking questions and therefore was, you know, fairly persuasive to some people. But John Searle, an American philosopher, raised an interesting argument against strong artificial intelligence in his thought experiment, The Chinese Room. Searle's thought experiment begins with this hypothetical premise. Suppose that artificial intelligence research has succeeded in constructing a computer that behaves as if it understands Chinese. It takes Chinese characters as input and by following the instructions of a computer program produces other Chinese characters which it presents as output. Suppose, say so, that this computer performs its tasks so convincingly that it comfortably passes the Turing test. It convinces a human Chinese speaker that the program is itself a live Chinese speaker. To all of the questions that the person asks, it makes appropriate responses such that any Chinese speaker would be convinced that they are talking to another human being. The question Searle wants to answer is this. Does the machine literally understand Chinese? Or is it merely simulating the ability to understand Chinese? Searle argues that without understanding, we cannot describe what the machine is doing as thinking. And since it does not think, it does not have a mind in anything like the normal sense of the word. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. It turns out a big part of getting things done is making a phone call. In 2018, Google CEO Sundar Pichai demonstrated how a Google Assistant can make a haircut appointment with a saloon and sound like an actual human. No happening out here. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. The conversation between the bot and the saloon seems surprisingly human, and Google Duplex wonderfully understands nuances of conversation. All this has been possible with years of research in natural language processing and deep learning. Google's Duplex phone call may seem unbelievably real, but for AI to replicate human thinking is still a very long journey. While AI has succeeded in beating human champions in games like Go, Dota, Poker, AI still lacks common sense, which every 10-year-old possesses. Today, AI can mimic human tasks in well-defined and controlled environments. Boston Dynamics Spot, a semi-autonomous four-legged robot, has been entertaining us with its moves on Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk. Or 
has the ability to pull a truck. Spot knows how to climb stairs and avoid barriers, but it still needs human assistance. Spot can retrace its paths and navigate spaces and can be very useful in industrial spaces, but in a well-defined environment. While Spot seems a step closer to an intelligent bot, but Boston Dynamics still has a long way to go before Spot can operate on its own intelligence. Nick Bostrom, a 43-year-old Swedish-born philosopher, speculates in his book that the biggest threat to wipe out human race is not a pandemic, neither a nuclear winter or climate change, but it is machine intelligence that is greater than ours. Bostrom does mention that the human level computing power has not yet been reached, but almost certainly will be attained well before 2050.